Hey everybody, how's it going? It's uh, Thursday, June 9th, 2016, and I'm heading to Play It Again Sports in Vancouver, Washington. All right, I've arrived at Play It Again Sports, and I'm gonna get started. Man, good morning. Hi, are you Brandon? Yes, sir. All right, I'm Scott. Good to meet you. So these are the windows, huh? These are the windows. Don't have to worry about rain. No, no, you'll be covered underneath here, so that's awesome. Cool. Um, so yeah, we're just, we're kind of open with what we want to do. Um, we just, we're moving. You know? Right, right. We finally got that lease finalized. We got all the paperwork squared away, so the lease is fully executed. So that means August the 1st, we're, we're moving. All right, well, I talked to the manager, uh, Brandon, and uh, it looks pretty straightforward. It's just a we're moving sale. They're about five minutes away, their new location and I'll probably put up a pictorial. And uh, so I got my tarps all laid out on the one side and uh, it's pretty covered uh, pretty good from the rain. Not that we're gonna have a problem with that. And uh, I've gotta take off these stickers here. This is a little bit uh, tricky, but I gotta take off this free no interest financing sticker. And uh, I'm gonna work around the neon on this one side, but other than that, all the posters on the inside, I'm not gonna worry about it. Alrighty. Well, I just hit up the paint stores. I use uh, this Miller Latex Super Color Red. And anybody who's watched my tutorials have seen me talk about that. You can't get redder than that. And then uh, also at Miller, I picked up a sample quart of this color. It's called Dancing Sea. And uh, I don't use a lot of this blue, so I just got me a, I think it's a $5 quart. And it's velvet, which is close enough. And then the yellow and this, uh, teal color I get from Sherwin-Williams. This is my confident yellow. Everybody's seen that before. And this is called Splashy, <laughs> which is great for splashes. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you some of these colors. You've seen videos on them before, but I'll do a little recap. Well, I noticed some kids inside, so I was thinking it might be cool to have a, a little girl with a baseball bat and then showing the ball flying across the window, maybe with a face on the ball going, or something like that, to make it animated and fun. And the, with having the ball move across the window too, it kind of indicates moving. So maybe along the line where I've got moving, I'll have the baseball flying. I should put glasses on you too. Uh-huh. I kiss. But then if you were playing baseball, you might not be wearing glasses, huh? I probably would. You would? Okay, I'll leave them on. So what do you think? Does it look like you a little bit? Uh-huh. I kiss. Put some eyelashes. You like baseball? Mm-hmm. Then so I'll put your hair in a ponytail. Maybe I'll make it flying out like this. Who taught you to be an artist? Oh, I just do it a lot. That kind of looks like you. Uh-huh. Here, let me take your picture standing next to it. Can I do that? Uh-huh. Is it okay if I take her picture standing next to it? Uh-huh. It's me. Here, let me back up here.
There she is. <laughs> Looks like her so far. All right, there we go. Kind of trimmed it up a little. I might have to make the hat a little smaller, but it looks kind of cool big, though. Okay, we got all the... This is Allie. Her name is Alexandria, but she goes by Allie. And uh, so what do you think of it so far? It's awesome. Okay, so here's the plan. Here's the plan. I'm going to... Um, I've got Allie here, and she just hit a home run, or hit a ball out of the park. So I'm going to start at the top. And I'm going to make a motion line, come down here, and then I'm going to have the ball here. And the ball is going to be the ball is going to be used because I want it to attract attention. So the ball is like this, and uh, I'm going to have kind of a sort of a side view this way, three quarters view. So I'm going to do some. Well, I'm going to do some lines like this. And then the face coming down like that, squinting. Like that. And the nose. This is straight out of Walter Foster books. Baseball. And All right. What's that? Is that Allie? That is Allie. I told you so. <laughs> you don't believe me? Doesn't it look like her, kind of? No. I think does. so. I think it looks like her. Allie has never played baseball. She never played baseball, huh? <laughs> so the ball's going to be flying up here. I'm going to have it high so I can do moving big here. Okay, so we have that. We have the motion line. And we have the ball, which is good on the corner. And then over here, I'm going to put the, where they're moving to. And then the middle part, I'm going to put moving. And then way down here on this side, I'll put we are, we, we are moving. So we're going to do moving here big. Make the letters up and down, kind of on a wave, all bouncy. I gotta go inside and take these posters out because it's distracting. They have to come down anyway. All right, let's do the second coat on Allie. Let's see, I can still see your face underneath it, so I know where to put the colors.
it's moving along. I got the two coats on that side and then the lettering laid out on this side. I was going to put a character there, but I thought, you know, from the road might be just good. August 1st, people ask, what's August 1st? And of course it's moving and then the, you know, it'll work. Lately, I've been uh, filling in the letters with the foam. Like to the edges, and it just, it's, it just makes it clean, and it's pretty quick, actually. It's almost as quick as the roller, if not as quick. And then I just come back with the roller and fill it in, and I can, I can take the roller almost to the edge, cover it all up. And then I only have to use one coat after I do that. I can do two coats if it's gonna be up for a long time, but this is coming down in August, so. I know I've said this a million times, but this is the black I use. Cell Final Black. It comes from Cartoon Color Company, and this runs about $130 with shipping. And this is for a gallon, and it lasts me probably, I don't know, maybe, Maybe about six, seven, eight months, sometimes longer. So that's quite a while. Baseball is one of those characters that's really easy to do. You don't have to do any highlights, just like a snowman. So here I just have. The gray on the white, and then the black. And it, uh, it communicates, it reads real well. Sometimes I'll do the, the outline inside the color. So this character took me probably about six, seven minutes. It's quick and it's very communicative with the design as it shows the sense of moving. And that definitely reads. <laughs> so it's not always the complexity of the design. Sometimes simple designs like this really communicate quickly and that's amazing. All right, I got here at uh, 10 a.m. and it's 2.40, so a little under six hours. Came out pretty good. Got this side all done. Got the baseball guy. Get some text on where they're moving. And here's the street side. Doesn't have any characters, but it's bold. And uh, that's about it. All right, I am uh, signing off from Vancouver, Washington. And I uh, hope you liked the video. And uh, if you want to know what kind of paint I use, it's interior house paint with an eggshell finish. And the black paint is so vinyl. And, uh, and the red I get from Miller, super color red. 
And the brushes I use are from Utrecht, but they discontinued them. So just find some long, flat watercolor, single stroke brushes. That's what you can use for the outlining and everything. So, all right. Hey, thanks for watching. See you next time. Starting to rain. <laughs>